Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television with Esther Galoom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received at Gudabia Palace today several members of the royal family and senior state officials. He said regional developments encourage greater efforts towards all the necessary steps for preserving the security and stability of the country and its people. He reiterated the necessity of focusing on maintaining national security and stability and of achieving the desired progress in all projects, especially in the fields of education, health and housing. The Prime Minister affirmed Bahrain's pride in its history of achievements in various fields, thanks to the efforts of its people. His Royal Highness pointed out that Gulf Cooperation Council countries have much in common, stressing the need to enhance communication towards further unity and joint cooperation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Gudabia Palace the Chairman of Bahrain Society for Training and Human Resources Development, Mohammed Mahmoud, who introduced to His Royal Highness the Society's new board members in the presence of the Society's Honorary President, Dr. Ibrahim Khalifa al Dossari. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness to invest in human resources in order to upgrade the level of services provided by the government. He highlighted the creativity and dedication of the Bahraini workforce in various fields, which will help to raise the kingdom's status at both regional and international human resource levels. During the meeting, His Royal Highness congratulated the new board members and wished them every success in assuming their missions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the huge efforts exerted by the BSTD in upgrading Bahraini human resource staff and enhancing their efficiency. He also praised the Society's participation in different international conferences and its portrayal of the Kingdom's true image in the human and sustainable development field. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the Bahraini workforce and said that such successful societies must be supported. The BSTD Chairman, Mohammed Mahmoud, delivered a speech on behalf of the Society's board members in which he expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his constant support for the Kingdom's development march. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received at Gudabia Palace today the Egyptian ambassador to Bahrain, Suha al Far, who presented His Royal Highness with an official invitation from his Egyptian counterpart, Sharif Ismail, to visit Egypt. His Royal Highness asked the ambassador to convey his thanks and appreciation to the Egyptian Prime Minister for the invitation and his wishes for Egypt and its people a further progress and prosperity. 
he reiterated the importance of enhancing Arab cooperation at such a critical time when chaos has spread across the Arab nation. He said a unified Arab stance on all issues was necessary to develop Arab countries and achieve the aspirations of their people amid threats against the security, stability and sovereignty of the region's countries. The Prime Minister noted the significance of the Arab League as a symbol of Arab unity and its representation of the hopes and aspirations of the Arab people for integration. His Royal Highness highlighted the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Egypt based on mutual respect and joint coordination, stressing that the strength and security of Egypt is part of Bahrain's. He expressed satisfaction with the progress of Bahraini-Egyptian cooperation, which reflects both countries' keenness to bolster relations in the best interests of both countries and people. He commended Egypt's efforts towards Arab integration and solidarity, thanks to its historic weight and role in supporting Arab issues. The Prime Minister appreciated the role of the Egyptian community in Bahrain and their contributions to the development process of the kingdom in all fields. For her part, the Ambassador thanked His Royal Highness for his constant support of enhanced bilateral relations, emphasising the strong cooperation in the fields of politics, economy and culture. She praised the wise vision of the Prime Minister on Arab and international issues, which reflects his sense of responsibility towards the Arab nation. She said that Bahrain is appreciated by Egypt and its people, thanks to its supportive stances in all circumstances and to its respect for the Egyptian community in Bahrain. The representative of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to the 27th Arab League Summit, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, left Mauritania today after taking part in the PAN summit, which concluded yesterday. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak was seen off at Nouakchott International Airport by the Mauritanian Prime Minister Yahid Walhad Amin and a number of senior officials. His Majesty the King's representative extended deepest thanks and appreciation to the Mauritanian leadership for the warm welcome and hospitality accorded to him and his accompanying delegation, wishing further progress and prosperity to Mauritania and its brotherly people. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa participated in the opening session of the 27th Arab League Summit meeting in the Mauritanian capital Nouakchott. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak delivered a speech on behalf of His Majesty the King in which he expressed pleasure at participating in the summit. He affirmed that holding such meetings reflected the strong desire to develop Arab joint action and elevate cooperation as well as to overcome the difficult phases and challenges, including the issues of terrorism and extremism. Such challenges, he added, call for a decisive Arab stance 
and urgent measures at political, security, judicial and media levels to drain the sources of funding for terrorism. Sheikh Mohammed added efforts to combat terrorism won't work unless interference in internal affairs of countries is prevented. He affirmed Bahrain's condemnation of interference in its internal affairs, calling upon Iran to respect the principle of neighbourliness and to adhere to international laws and charters. He added that interference is doomed to fail if a united Arab stance is taken in support of Bahrain against acts of terrorism. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak also highlighted the Palestinian issue, which he said was at a difficult turning point, but expressed hope that peace and justice would prevail so that the rights of the Palestinian people are recognised. He called for further efforts to utilise international laws and resolutions to work on initiatives with the aim of resolving the Palestinian issue. This includes the Arab Peace Initiative, which calls for justice and the establishment of an independent Palestinian state with East Quds as its capital. Sheikh Mohammed also referred to the situation in Yemen, noting the ongoing negotiations in Kuwait between the various Yemeni parties. He renewed Bahrain's support for initiatives aimed at restoring peace and security across Yemen. He also called for further humanitarian efforts to minimise the ordeal of the Yemeni people. Sheikh Mohammed reaffirmed Bahrain's stance towards Syria, Iraq, Libya and Lebanon and their right to enjoy peace and stability. He asserted the importance of developing joint Arab work and of overcoming all the challenges confronting the Arab nation. He affirmed the importance of boosting cooperation in order to overcome all regional and international challenges. The Mauritanian president, Mohamed Wald Abdelaziz, delivered a speech in which he affirmed the importance of addressing the current challenges facing the Arab nation and of finding a permanent solution to the Palestinian cause, as well as to fighting terrorism and stopping foreign interference in Arab countries' domestic affairs. He also commended the major role played by Kuwait in hosting the Yemeni peace talks and highlighted the necessity of reaching a political solution in Syria. The Egyptian Prime Minister Sharif Ismail delivered a speech on behalf of the Egyptian president in which he affirmed his country's support of the Arab League in all its efforts to enhance Arab unity and cohesion. He also condemned foreign interference in Arab countries' internal affairs and underlined the importance of joint Arab action in overcoming regional and international challenges. For his part, the Arab League Secretary-General Ahmed al Gate expressed keenness to develop the Arab League in order to cope with the current challenges facing the Arab nation. He also said that restoring stability in the region would help to combat terrorism and affirmed that the Palestinian cause was the top of every priority as it requires more cooperation and coordination to reach a peaceful solution. The Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa also took part in the closing session of the summit on behalf of His Majesty the King. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak expressed thanks and appreciation to the President of Mauritania, Mohammed Wal Abdulaziz, and the Mauritanian government for their warm welcome and their hospitality. On the sidelines of the summit, the Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa met with the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Zaba Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Subah. The Deputy Premier conveyed to His Highness the greetings of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and their wishes for him of continued health and happiness. The meeting reviewed the deep-rooted brotherly relations between the two countries and ways of boosting them in all fields as well as issues of mutual concern. In the final communique following the closing session of the 27th Arab Summit, which was held in the Mauritanian capital Nouakchott, Arab leaders stressed their commitment to confronting the challenges threatening Arab national security, develop mechanisms to combat terrorism and boost Arab peace and security. The Arab Summit rejected any foreign intervention in the internal affairs of Arab states, especially Iranian interventions, as well as Iran's threats to Arab national security. The summit stressed its support for the Palestinian people in their struggle against Israel's aggressions and settlement activities and voiced backing for Egypt's efforts to push forward the peace process and for the French peace initiative. It reiterated that the Palestinian cause would remain a core issue in joint Arab action. The summit also reiterated its call to obligate Israel to join the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and subject its nuclear facilities and programmes to international monitoring. The Arab leaders reaffirmed support for Yemeni President Abid Rabu Mansour Hadi's legitimate leadership 
and for the Kuwait-hosted UN-sponsored peace talks based on relevant UN resolutions. The summit voiced hope that the Syrians would reach a political solution to the crisis in their country that maintains its unity and stability and the safety of its territories. Addressing the crisis in Libya, the communique called on all parties to combat terrorist groups and work to build their country. The statement also congratulated the new Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abul Gate for taking up the post, wishing him every success. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, commended the royal address of His Majesty the King that was delivered by the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa at the 27th Arab Summit in Mauritania. He hailed His Majesty the King's assertions about the need to uphold a firm united Arab stance and to take strong and urgent measures at all levels to dry up the sources of terrorism and its funding and to address its root causes and conditions. He also praised Bahrain's firm stance in support of the Palestinian people under restoring security and stability in Yemen. He cited Bahrain's support of the right of the brethren in Syria, Iraq, Libya and Lebanon to enjoy secure, sovereign states capable of confronting every challenge through the efforts of their citizens and protecting the safety of their institutions from all forms of foreign interference in their internal affairs. He wished success for all joint Arab efforts in boosting the region's security and stability to achieve the aspirations and ambitions of all peoples. The Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh also hailed the address of His Majesty the King delivered by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa at the 27th Arab Summit in the Mauritanian capital Nouakchott. Mr Al Saleh said the address reaffirmed the strong desire to develop joint Arab cooperation to overcome the complicated and difficult phase the region is undergoing to deter all forms of external interference, extremism and terrorism, especially Iran's blatant meddling in Arab affairs, to overcome risks and challenges and to develop the Arab League's mechanisms to serve all Arab interests. He hailed His Majesty the King's assertions about the necessity of upholding a firm united Arab stance, of taking strong and urgent measures at all levels to dry up the sources of terrorism and its funding, of addressing the root causes and conditions that led to its emergence, of tackling all forms of external interferences in domestic affairs, of respecting the sovereignty and laws of Arab countries, preventing the export of violence and terrorism to other countries, and of halting hostile statements aimed at spreading chaos and sedition among peaceful peoples. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain TV. The Bahrain Oil Shares Index closed today at 1,159.89 points, an increase of 4.03 points from yesterday's closing. The rise was in the commercial banking and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banking sector, representing 61% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 54 equity transactions took place with a volume of 2,379,834 shares, worth a total value of 398,790 Bahraini dinars.